I only thought about this was my dream and my goal and that this was my hobby and I could make it my life and I never let I never let my sex as a woman deter me from it one little bit. I had always known about them, but my brothers played them and girls weren't allowed. And then when I started working here, I got exposed to more and to more women who were playing. And I don't know if that was, you know, brothers just saying, ooh, I don't want my sister to play. Or um, if, it was, uh, if it was a whole girls don't do these nerdy things thing. Um, I did run into that when I was working here, like, oh, girls don't know what they're doing and that sort of deal. There are women out there that do want to play these games, but just don't feel invited, so they have to have a group that um, at least subconsciously thinks, hey, we should be inviting to everyone no matter the sex, no matter the gender, whatever. And something that's been improving on a lot of game companies are actually coming out with games that are more oriented to both sexes, which is nice. Um, it's not like male driven anymore, it's not just male centric games, so I think that's another way to change it, having games that everyone would be interested, not just men. I went to a convention, like a computer game convention recently, and I think in the area that I was sitting, I could count the amount of girls that were single, like not sitting next to their obvious boyfriend, uh, on the one hand. And there were maybe 200 people there, and it was like, this is something that very much needs to change. <laughs> 